reason, I got an issue with preachers preaching a little bit too long. Is that an issue y'all got too? Preachers straight up. Preachers just be preaching straight up too long. And you know, when I was little, I wanted to stand up and tell the preacher to sit down. But I couldn't. Because you know, I was little. But now that I'm older, I can tell them that. To just sit on down. But the problem with it is, they be up there preaching, right? It be 2 o'clock. It could be 2 o'clock. They still up there preaching. And we got a program at 3. Now that don't even make no sense, do it? And the problem with that is, they got the nerve to be sitting back there cooking, and you can smell fried chicken, collard green, potato salad, and sweet potato pie smell coming out the kitchen. Now it's 2 o'clock, you already hungry. That don't even make no sense, do it? I just want y'all to do me a favor and tell your pastors, your preachers, your ministers to sit down sometime and cut their sermons in half because it really messes me up. We're at the Crown Coliseum at the 10th Annual Attorney Alan Rogers Christmas Party. There's hundreds of people in there. Alan, I understand that people actually pay to get into this party and the money goes to a worthy charity. Could you tell me about that, sir? Yes, uh, again, that's absolutely right. Uh, again, this is our 10th Annual Christmas Party. And this year we thought we would support the Maranatha House. Uh, the Maranatha House is a house for here in Fayetteville for women who suffer from substance abuse and are displaced as a result of that. And in keeping in the Christmas spirit, we decided to uh, support the Maranatha House this year. Uh, they've had some problems with funding, and we came in contact with uh, their local executive director and uh, thought that we'd make that our purpose. And, you know, What's his name? Again, that's a, uh, a Reverend Wade here in Fayetteville. That's wonderful that you're able to put back into the community that supports your firm. Tell me, why the Maranatha? Well, again, the Maranatha, I don't think there's a person under the sound of my voice that has not been affected by substance abuse. It's one of the biggest problems in our community. Sure. We, we certainly have all been affected by those problems and those things affecting our families. And we just like to be a part of the solution. And certainly the solution is providing counseling and support for those people who suffer from those types of addictions. And uh, the Mar Maranatha House has proven itself to be a worthy uh, support mechanism in our community. And, and we want to be about worthy causes. So that's why. That's wonderful. You have heard it from attorney Alan Rogers himself right here at the Crown Coliseum. It's wonderful entertainment. Great fellowship. Guys, don't miss it next year. Hey, please, Tell them how they can get in contact. Hey, again, give us a call at the Rogers Firm. We're at 433-0833. We're downtown 111 Person Street in Fayetteville. And we're there to help you make informed decisions in your day-to-day -day life. Call us at the Rogers and Miller Firm. Thank you. Thank you very much, Trent. But somebody told me, they said, Reverend C.T. Butler, if you're going to go around the country and you're going to talk to these pastors about cutting their sermons in half, you're going to have to come up with a solution. So I came up with one solution. I want y'all to pass this on. If the ministers and the preachers would take the highs out of their sermon, they could chop it in half. Straight up. Y'all want me to give you an example? Can I give y'all an example? Say, for instance, the preacher want to say, the Lord is my heavenly father. All he got to do is say, the Lord is my heavenly father. But nah, he won't throw hearts up in there. He won't say, the Lord ha, is ha, my ha, heavenly ha, father. Ha, I ain't seen mother. Ha, I ain't seen brother. Ha, I ain't seen sister, cat, pig, rat, or dog. I said, Father, hey, that took you two minutes to say six words. If you would cut your hides out, you could chop your stomach down. I'm just trying to give y'all some love and let y'all know what's going on. 